pulled anchor in the middle of a storm. We left the island of Sabang in the early evening. The weather settled and we motor sailed through the night. The next day, a fishing boat was acting rather peculiar, following us for over an hour. We figured this scenario could go two ways. They are either friendly or not so friendly, but we didn't have many options. Please change course, sped up, done a lot, but this guy seems to be uh, tailing us and leaves us still a bit worried. We're in the middle of the ocean, no way around, uh, about 80 nautical miles off Indonesia. On our way to Phuket, and um, yeah, this boat's been trailing. How long? We're going to stay downstairs. Lee's got a spear gun and donger and a machete and yeah. I don't know how that'll work against 50 blokes, but yeah. Do you think there's 50 blokes on that? Oh my god. Is there? We felt like sitting ducks in the middle of the ocean waiting to see if this situation would turn into something horrible. I could see Dad was nervous. They got closer and closer. full boat of men that had been at sea for who knows how long. We watched out the window from down below as Dad sat at the helm waiting to see what it was they were after. Alright, so these guys are freaking us out but they're all smiles and they want drinks apparently. Thank goodness they were friendly. They were after food, alcohol and cigarettes, anything we had to offer. Mum passed the camera thinking Dad would film this crazy experience as they came within a metre of Catalpa. As you can see, the camera got forgotten. Dad threw some tinned beef which they were stoked about and headed off on their way. After they were away from Catalpa, Mum, Taj and I went up to see Dad's relieved face. Hey, one. That was our closest experience to anything uh, that you would call piratey, but that's never happened before. Oh, it was like They sound happy, but uh, we kept everyone downstairs and just like, had a few cans of um, disgusting bully beef. A few cans of bully beef. They just wanted some food. Well, the, uh, really, they wanted alcohol, alcohol and cigarettes. So we've sort of been against the old cigarette thing, just because they just throw them straight in the water as they smoke them. But anyway, that was a little bit nerve-wracking. Yeah. So uh, we took precautions. Lee told everyone to, to stay downstairs, and he yeah, had a spear day, gun. Not a lot you can do. There's like 20 blokes on there. How'd you feel, 
just now, Taj? Had all the knives ready. The people that were good Are you okay, Missy? Yeah. You a bit scared then? Not really. Taj scared all the knives, giving me them. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we we precaution was they did a they did board. Then Bella would definitely be tucked away, hidden. And uh, the rest of us would be up here just taking Fighting. taking whatever's goes. <laughs> but I mean, Indonesia, they're really curious, but they're also really friendly. He was holding up a fish. Do you want to give you a fish? Yeah, I didn't want to go into any more time. Yeah. With the two boats colliding. Yeah. I would have taken the fish to get close to pass it. He would have thrown the tuna, hit you in the face, boom. <laughs> We should have filmed more, but I, like I said, we were downstairs. I filmed a little bit through the window. Are you film anything? Uh, not really. So I thought he may have filmed a little bit more up here because they were right next to the boat. But anyway. We continued on. nautical miles into our passage to Phuket. Uh, we've had a bit of an interesting day today. We had a, a boat come right up to us and uh, ask for some food and drinks to get cigarettes. We threw him some canned beef. Um, yeah, it's been just motored the whole way and we're just trying to motor and get as far across as possible before the wind turns because the wind's supposed to turn onto our nose, so we're 100 nautical miles into a 220 nautical mile passage, so we're nearly halfway. And uh, the forecast, I think, isn't looking the best tomorrow. So we'll see how we go. But uh, yeah, we're just coming into, it's about to get dark. Usually uh, the storm, rain, squalls, all the things happen at night. Lee's having a rest so uh, now, so if that does happen later, he can be up for that. And um, yeah, that's it. to make our way to Phuket but the last 50 nautical miles were seeming impossible and really uncomfortable. We got closer but could not get where we wanted to go. The wind and current was making it horrible and Katelpa was going two knots in the right direction. We did our last tack. Dad was getting super frustrated and realised we may as well head to a nearby island that was in the direction we could move in and anchored up to rest before heading the last 20 nautical miles to Phuket. It had been a very long and tiring 24 hours and mum and dad were exhausted. Just put into this cove, we had a sleep, now the leaves are refueling and we'll head over to the main island on Phuket. Well go figure, today we sailed straight towards Phuket doing five knots, no worries at all. Hey! later and we arrived in Shillong Harbour, three days after we left Indonesia. Shillong Harbour is a busy harbour at the southeast of Phuket in Thailand. We're in Thailand. So 
we just arrived in Phuket. So we're in the harbour here and uh, we just met um, Kevin who has been emailing us and helping us. We're actually anchored right next to him without knowing. And uh, he came over and had a chat, so that was really nice. And um, I think we're gonna go ashore and see if we can get some food. I'm excited to be in a new country, to experience new stuff. So yeah, pretty pretty stoked. Well, I gotta go over and see if we can get some internet and um, yeah, eat some food. And then we'll check in tomorrow. So Kevin said it was pretty cruisy here. You can kind of go ashore and I don't mind because the offices aren't open until 10 o'clock tomorrow anyway. So yeah, we'll go and check it out. Exciting. It was time to check in to the country. We're in Phuket outside of the 7-Eleven shop. New money to work with. Yep. So when we arrive at a new country, we have to go to the official offices to let them know we have arrived. Check in, check out. Yeah, check in, check out. Here we go. Check in. in. It's a bit different than arriving on a plane. Okay, we can't find the harbour master, we're gonna go back down. <laughs> we're gonna go back down. We have to visit the Harbour Master Immigrations and a Customs Office. We have all our paperwork like passports, boat papers and port clearance from our last port we visited, which for us was Sabang, Indonesia. Yeah, to customs. It's also close and easy. It's amazing. Thank you. We checked in. Yep. Everything's all done. We checked in. Yeah. And everything's all right here. It's so easy. So easy. So much easier than Indonesia. Oh my goodness. You can turn into a full day in Indonesia as opposed to a half an hour in. I wouldn't even say, I'd say probably, I don't know, 5% of the paperwork compared to Indonesia. Yeah, I mean, it's so good. Any close nothing? I mean, no. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not a cent. Not a cent. Hello, Dad. So, so let's get some food. In Thailand, eating Thai yeah. spring rolls. These videos are made possible because of our patrons. Thank you all so all very much. Up next. Oh, look at this place, hey? This is what dreams are made of. Remember guys, if you like that video, please like and comment and share with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you next time.